Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is God, uh, God's own DJ, aka God No Wax, aka Easy Mike D, bringing you another video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, something real quick. Basically, uh, I've been ha I've had my NPC one for a couple of years now, and uh, you know it's going to do some issues as far as like the firmware updates and things like that, which are more on the software side. Uh, but on the software side, I did get a few crashes early on. And what I attributed it to was overheating. So I usually leave my MPC on, I turn it on, I mess with the beat a little bit, you know. Uh, and then maybe uh, leave it on while I'm doing something else or looking at a Twitch video or a YouTube video or something like that. And then I come back to the beat and mess around with a little bit more things like that. So I leave my MPC on for quite a bit of time, you know, as far as length of periods of time while, you know, just leaving it on. And uh, I don't just work on it work on a beat then turn it off and that's it you know I kind of just have it on and I work on it throughout the day or as I'm sitting there or as I'm messing around with the beat you know go, go get a snack maybe run to the store or something like that and come back and work on it but anyway long story short or to get to the point uh, the, I noticed that my NPC was getting hot sometimes it would get hot and it would be hot to the touch and uh, you know I work in IT for a profession, and I've worked with computers for quite some years now, and I'm pretty good. I'm pretty, I would say I'm, I'm a pretty technical person, and I understand computers and how they work, and one of the biggest enemies of a computer is heat. Uh, that's why you have, you know, thermal plates for your CPU, cooling fans for the CPU, even water cooling solutions for the CPU nowadays. Uh, you know, that's why your video card has a cool, co cooling fan unit on it. Uh, it's to keep it cool so they can it can perform at its optimal capabilities as far as processing information and crunching data and things like that. So, uh, what I decided to do with my MPC One and what I suggest to you to do is to get a laptop cooling fan. So I already had this laptop cooling fan for another laptop, but I didn't need it for it anymore. I'll move this MPC a little bit just so you can see. That's what it looks like. So you can see there's like four fans in there. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, there's four fans in there, and they push a, lot, a, a decent amount of air. Uh, this one, I like this one because I have my MPC sitting on my computer desk, my MPC One. And, you know, one of the biggest flaws of the MPC One, from my opinion, is that they didn't put a flip screen on it where you can turn the screen up and face you. Uh, but having this laptop fan eliminates that. That was the main reason I got it, but a side effect of it, or a secondary feature of it, was also the fact that it cooled the MPC as well. Uh, my MPC feels really cool to the touch right now. These fans move a lot of air. They plug uh, this unit here has a, comes out with a USB A to A cable, so USB A to USB A. One plug, one end plugs into the cooling fan unit, and then the other end I have plugged into a USB hub that's plugged into my MPC one. So the whole thing is running off the MPC one, uh, but it's keeping it nice and cool. I haven't had any crashes since. I've been using this setup here with the uh, MPC connected with the cooling device underneath it. Uh, and like I said, it tilts up the MPC so I can tilt it to different lengths. I don't know if you can see right there, that bar right there. But you can tilt it up and down and it's it, it's perfect. You know, a lot of people buy stands for their MPC one, but they don't think about the cooling solution for it, you know. Uh, I don't think it's very feasible to open it up and try to put thermal paste on processors or chipsets and things like that or fans or anything like that. So the best thing I would suggest, you know, the MPC does have a lot of ventilation as far as the ducts and the openings on it. Uh, just get you a laptop cooling device. I'll try to link one or two in the uh, description of the video. Actually, let me see if I can find one real quick on, on Amazon right now. Give me one second. Listen, it's just a Pete Rock. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Let me, let me go to my web browser here. All right, so as you can see here on Amazon, let me get this bigger here. All right, so as you can see here on Amazon, I have a lot of uh, cooling fan solutions here that are options. This is an ice cool rail laptop cooling pad with six cooling fans. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. Like I said, I suggest this one also has like a, let me go back to my uh, other camera here. This one also has like a little lip on the front. I don't know if you can see that right there. Let me just kind of tilt this up. Let me move this out the way. Do you see this little lip right here? This tilts up and it'll keep the MPC from sliding down the face of the device. Uh, I suggest you find something with something like that on it. 
that would be my suggestion it doesn't as long as it doesn't get in, in the way of the uh, headphone port if you use that or the SD card port you should be good to go uh, but yeah any of these cooling fans you see here on uh, Amazon will, will work out for you uh, if it tilts all the better uh, they're like 20 bucks 30 bucks 25 bucks you can get them from a range of different prices I would say a 20 or 25 dollar one should be good for you you know Anyway, that's it for the video. Definitely cool off your NPC one and maybe even your NPC Live or NPC X if you have those and you are noticing an issue. I'm not sure if the X will fit on one of these stands. I know the Live should, the MC Live 2 should, Live and the Live 2, but definitely if you have an NPC one, cool it off with a laptop cooling fan. Alright, take it easy. Later.